Hello and welcome to Chaz Tastic Gaming. I'm Chaz Tastic, and today we're back to Faster Than Light. Now, I've decided that we're actually going to go into the Uncharted Nebula. If you haven't seen the last episode, I will put a link in the description to the first episode. We are currently Faster Than Light again. It's just quickly a rogue type game that basically I'm just going to play until I die. If I get to the end, brilliant. If I don't, oh well. So let's go into the Uncharted Nebula. So let's have a look. Thanks to high nebula density of this sector, very little of, the, of it has been charted and rumours of what lurks in the depths abound. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. So I've recently just upgraded my, I've up, just upgraded my shields to level two. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to do my doors because I think we'll start to get intruders and that's the last thing we want. So let's jump. Okay, there's a distress beacon. Let's head straight to this. We are going backwards to go forwards. Uh, okay, so what's the what's the script? There appear, uh, appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Now, any life is valuable. Let's go down and oh, I'll go oh, down. Every time you leave the ship, you're in a lot of risk. So let's have a. You find a man a living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems like he's been there for many years. He looks help healthy, but his mental state is, state is questionable. Bring him back to your ship in hopes of finding him, uh, finding some help for him. Leave the man to his ravings. He's not worth the risk. I can't leave a man behind, even if I don't know him. Oh no! Once back in orbit, the man turns increasingly violent. Eventually, he turns on your crew and manages to kill one before you can subdue him. I'm sorry, Lindsay. So we're a man down. A woman down. If you don't take risks in this game, you do not get any benefit. So, okay. So we're going to need to do a little bit of exploring. A pirate ship sh uh, arrives shortly after you, judging by the f uh, judging by the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship. You assume that it's smuggling. It's a smuggler trying to stay away from away from beacons. <sighs> I don't really want. To Let's attack him. Fuck it. You power up your weapons and move in to engage. So what have, what have we got? Go straight for your weapons. Let's. That's not his weapons. That's his weapons. And we'll fire that at his shields. We've actually used a rocket! Oh! Oh dear! Get out of there Chaz, get out of there Chaz! Okay, so come on, let's fire there. I think this may have been a bad idea. They look like they don't want to fight and are trying to escape. Let's just... If you don't want to fight, why do you keep attacking me? Okay, so... We realise that our ship is no match for us. If you let us go, we'll make it worth your while. Um. I'm gonna to have to be that guy, no, that's not an option. Let's fire on them some more and let's time let's time go for their weapons again. Resist. Okay, so let's just gotta make sure we keep taking out their weapons. I am being a tyrant in this episode apparently. I will take you out from space. There we go. Boom. You better give me more scrap. Oh, a pike beam! You search the ship and discover that its cargo was a new military grade weapon that somehow managed to. Uh, it was somewhat undamaged in the fight and can be easily mounted to your ship. Okay, so how much power do we need for you? Damage. Okay, I think we want that, but we need to get two more power for our. We need two more power as well as two upgrades on this. So let's let's jump and keep moving. Ideally we kind of want to be getting up out, out here so out here as quick as possible. So let's jump. Oh shit, Chaz is not very well. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm drinking my coffee. It's cold in here and I like coffee. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula and uh, ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage or stay hidden. Mm, Prepare to chase them, fuck it. You follow their, uh, the, the vapour trails and surf into their six o'clock weapon top. Okay, so I'm guessing that means that we're, we've got the advantage here. Yeah, okay, what's the... Oh, that's the short key. Okay, so we've got their weapons right away. Let's get their drone. Chaz, we probably want to go and fix that med bay, just because your health is a bit on the low side. Oh, your weapons are up again. Oh, yeah, we broke their weapons, that's cool. We've not really lost too much damage on our hull. Let's go for their oxygen levels. They're, they're powering up their FTL drive. Let's not let that happen. They just want to get out here, don't they? They're not really that interested in... Yeah, I think we managed to do that it's fairly unscathed. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal, as well as some... Okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, we need quite a lot more, don't we? That is typical. Oh, and I said a while ago we were going to upgrade doors, and I never got round to that. So back to stations, guys. Uh, now you can obtain other crew members, it's probably something we need to look into soon. Oh, sorry, we went J for jump. I'm using a lot of hotkeys, so you might not actually be able to see the buttons that I'm pressing. A pirate ship uh, arrived shortly after you. Judging by the fact that it's attempting to avoid you, you assume that it must be struggling, uh, smuggling something, trying to stay away from, uh, from beacons. So let's attack them again. Uh, power up your weapons and move in to engage. The ha shields, engines. Uh, cockpit, oxygen, weapons. Let's go straight for the weapons right away. And we can also like we'll also fire a rocket at their engines just for the sake of just because we can, you know. Mm, we realize no, no, no. We're not. We're not accepting that. We would like to take out your ship altogether. That would be nice. Okay, so. Fire, fire, fire! Let's take out their shields altogether. Nah, let's just go for their engines again. Their engines are what are giving us a hard time at hitting them. Okay, so hopefully we'll find something nice. And amongst. There we go, defense drone. Searching the remains, you find a military grade schematics. That is absolutely smashing. Okay, still need five more for that. And uh, technically, we're going to need more than that. Oh. That's a store up there. We don't really need the store. Well, let's go to the store. We'll go to the store just so we can sell that drone part. Because I don't really have the intention on using any drones. There is only one way the ship... Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's fine. Whatever. Sell. Let's sell that. A value of 25. That's actually not too bad. That helps us out quite a bit. Anti-personnel drone. And then we've got some extra ca extra characters if we wanted an, uh, if we wanted some more... We do, but at the same time, we kind of want to get this pike beam activated as quick as we can. So let's have a look at this so we can... Uh, we can afford to get the extra part of power that we need, but we don't get the power bar. Okay, so let's jump. So we just need to acquire some more power from somewhere. So if we need 30 more, and that'll be, that should be enough for us to afford it. Do, 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 do. Oh, same, same script again. Power up your engage. Uh, yeah, they've still not got any drones yet. We'll go straight for that, and we'll take your engines out with a missile. Because we've got, a, I'm pretty sure we got a missile back from the last. No, we didn't. But anyway, we'll fire it. We'll try and conserve our missiles from here onwards. There you go. Your weapons are down. You don't stand a chance, my friend. Not against me. Just try to take out the crucial systems just to make it as difficult as possible. Us at the pink elephant understand what it's like. Okay, so let's have a look here. Ooh, so 
automated automated re reloader i don't know what that means and that's quite a lot it's quite a lot of rockets no i say we we persist our attack that's better you just fired at us i thought you were our friend a minute ago you were trying to give us stuff i will not take that so let's see what these guys have got okay for on this ship 30, uh, 36 so that's not too bad that means that we've got the necessary components to go boom boom much lets us go boom boom and our pike bean is activated let's just let's just sort of meander towards it while we've got the time to do so you jump you jump into a sector of the nebula but um beset by a plasma storm an automated rebel scout is stationed and it becomes to um stationed at the beacon and it moves into attack now just to let you know when there is a when there is a plasma storm, you will notice that down in this corner that there's some of these are blue. It halves any power I have. This is why nothing is to my shield, which I do not like at all. So we need to use something. Let's use. Let's just get straight to that. We do not. Well, we're sitting ducks while our while our shields were down like that. So let's get their weapons. We ideally want to get their weapons off. What we'll do is we'll just open these doors. Cause we can't see. We'll just assume that we need to yeah there we go so as long as this weapons down our weapons are down we should be okay let's just have a meander yep fortunately we did do that because we actually did need that oh sugar let's just do that there we go so, there's a fire on board, but we can't see it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, leaves, leaves just that substantial stuff back. Okay, so let's go and... Yeah, we're okay for... Let's close the door there. Let's go in there, yeah. Fortunately, let's have, let, have a look in there, Lewis. Close the door. Have a look in there. No fires. We're just checking for fires just now, just because we can't see. Oh, sorry, we don't want to suffocate them. And let's drop some from the shields and put that in there just so we can heal these guys up. We'll get them back to their stations and we'll get on our merry way. But it does take a moment. So, yes. And we'll close all the doors and everyone back to their stations. Okay, so let's. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, of course. There's no power to our engines, that's why we can't jump. We can go straight. Let's meander. We'll go slowly there. We've only got nine fuel left, so we're going to have to watch that out. So, a nearby space station hails you. Greetings. Your arrival is most uh, fortuitous. We've recently come across ex some extra drones. If you have some fuel, we can perhaps make a deal. I don't need any drones, mate. Sorry about that. Well, I'm not really sorry, but um, yeah, whatever. Let's have a look to see what you've got to say. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you may jump to the next sector. You arrive in a system and in a system and immediately discover a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, uh, strangely, scans indicate that there are no life forms aboard. You salvage everything useful, but find no clue as to the whereabouts of its former crew. That's not too bad. So, remember how I said about that? Yep, we've just upgraded our, sto our door systems. And we're just a little bit too low. Ah, let's just update that, that as well. So, do do do. Let's do 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 do. Just power up our systems where we can, uh, because we're about to jump to the next system. Next sector. Oh, and we're either going into hostile territory or hostile territory. And on that note, again, I think I will end the episode here. I have been Chaz Tastic, captain of the Pink Elephant, and you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye.